risk management is one of these uh, activities that's involved in FM that doesn't have a nice little home for it. Um, in terms of all the other disciplines that are involved in the body of knowledge, for example. So risk management is one of these things that don't, people don't tend to come F, to FM from something that was about risk management. They come to FM and realise risk management is part of the job and it's a critical part of the job. Um, risk management covers a diversity of almost everything you'll come across and be involved in in uh, facilities management. Facilities management is the only function in most organisations that will touch and influence risk for the organisations that we serve, for the function of FM, for maintenance, for cleaning, for the working environment and for the communities around the buildings that we are responsible for and manage. Uh, and risk management in itself um, can cover a multitude of sins. So when you start to look at some of those, it's risk about the things that are fairly obvious like health and safety, uh, environmental management and the impact you have on the environment. Uh, risk management is about compliance and standards where um, we have compliance in terms of what our organisations want us to comply with. We have compliance in terms of the law we have compliance in terms of building regulations. So a part of our job is to ensure that we manage those risks by making sure we are compliant with everything that we're responsible for. If you have standards um, such as operational standards or management system standards like ISO 41001 for facilities management, then that's a, a, a standard of acknowledgement and the professionalism of the organisation, the FM organisation. And uh, there's a risk if you don't continue to comply because uh, it does more damage losing a standard and a compliance with a standard than it does getting it in the first place. So risk management goes beyond what might be the obvious activities uh, such as maintenance, uh, etc and can involve things like reputational risk. So how you manage your facilities, how you impact the environment, how you affect the communities around the organisation can have a huge influence on reputational risk. Um, so it's one of these strange things that crosses all the boundaries of all the activities that we are involved in within a facilities management context. And it's typically something that people coming into the industry have to learn from scratch because they tend to come from technical disciplines or administrative disciplines, hospitality disciplines, where they might bring one aspect of risk management, but highly unlikely that they will come with that diversity and overview of the things that you could end up being responsible for, which, if you fail to deliver, can have serious consequences for everybody involved. So risk management is one of the things that's in the Pro-FM uh, curriculum and that's one of the reasons that it's there because it's one of these almost anonymous activities and uh, disciplines that we really need to get a good grasp on if we're going to succeed in the role that we're there to fulfil for the organisations that we serve. Okay, within the Pro-FM curriculum, uh, risk management covers areas such as compliance and standards. Uh, it covers uh, environmental health and safety, which is very prominent and obviously important for everybody that enters your facility, whether they are visitors, whether they are employees, whether they are subcontractors, whatever. Risk management is obviously all about security. It's about the security of the people, it's about the security of the, the premises and uh, the potential risk if you don't maintain those premises properly and the implications that might come around with that. Some examples that I've recently been involved in, for example, is a lack of maintenance on wastewater uh, resulted in fractured pipes, which resulted in uh, discharge of effluent, which resulted in a serious implication for the people in the local community. Um, so when a, something like that happens in an organisation, who's the organisation going to look at and ask why? And that tends to be the facilities management function. Um, other areas that are actually very, very important, almost like an insurance policy, is something like disaster planning and business continuity planning. Uh, because 
when disasters happen, and they happen whether it's natural, environmental disasters, whether it's uh, lack of maintenance that causes something to malfunction, um, you need to have the contingencies in place to make sure that the, the, the impact on the organisation is minimised as best you can. Again, that is an FM function and that is something when it, when it happens, not if it happens, when it happens, uh, people will all look at the FM function and say, well, why didn't you manage that risk in a manner that is acceptable? And in good risk management practice, uh, it's primarily about remove the risk. Um, and if you cannot remove the risk, then put the contingencies and the planning in place to mitigate the risk as best you can.